Hey there, so in this video, I do a quick uh, live run through of the sales funnel on Shopify for the brand True Classic. So I heard about them on the Limited Supply podcast, which I'll repeat here in a second in the recording. And uh, they're doing, according to them, about $150 million a year. They did something like 15 million in the first year, like 60 or something in the second, then 90, then 150 or, or something along those lines. They grew extremely fast over three years. Um, they went from selling just t-shirts, then they sold uh, you know, lots of different sort of men's apparel products, expanded into something like 190 different markets around the world, and now they even have some retail stores. So they're doing a lot of things right on the direct-to-consumer side on Shopify. So here's my run-through and review of their sales funnel. I'll include in the description below a link to some of the tools that they're using in their actual sales funnel. All right, so I went to go check out the True Classic Tees, and uh, I wanted to see because I saw them on the um, Limited Supply podcast, and they're doing something like $150 million a year or so. So I want to check out and see what they have going on for their funnel. So here's a 20% cash back, which is a little interesting. I didn't really know what this was at the time. And it looks like it's a cash back tool that allows you to do this instead of coupons so people can actually come back and spend more money at the store. I'm not sure if this works better or not than coupons, but um, they're using it. I'm sure it's better for the business uh, in terms of profitability, but I don't know as far as conversions. For me as a consumer, it was like a little confusing. And uh, I wanted to go buy just one of their basic t-shirts to see um, what their funnel looks like. And I'm always in the market for like a good t-shirt because I'll just kind of replace all the ones that I have if I find one that I like to make things simple. So I just went and ordered one of their basic classic uh, black t-shirts and um, added to cart. Their product page looks super nice. Then in the checkout, you got to do free, uh, to get free shipping, you had to spend over $75. And so they had a kind of cool little progress bar thing up there that shows that 20% cash back thing. And they're using a specific tool for that. And I go to secure checkout and um, they have a cool little order bump things over there. I think they're using after sell. Um, but then I enter all of my personal information, which I'm obviously blocking out. Then I go and start processing the order. Then they have some pretty basic one-click upsells. This looks very similar to Zipify one-click upsell, but they may be using after sell or a different tool. Uh, but looks very similar. Pretty basic. Nothing super exciting here, in my opinion. Hopefully, they're testing these a bunch because it's like I would think they'd be able to make this work way better. Uh, but they're doing something here. So they got some upsells. And then I go to the uh, confirmation page. And they have this... Um, serve this tool that's basically presenting me a whole bunch of different offers from random businesses like Sirius XM, uh, PayPal's Honey Tool, and some other ones. And I guess it's by that you can see in the bottom right, R-O-K-T, Rocked, um, allows you to do this. I'm sure they're kind of getting kickbacks from all these people. And then they have this cool survey tool. So they said they use this a ton to kind of have another um, point of reference for their attribution. And so this is something I definitely think we should implement so that we can kind of have another source of truth as far as where people are finding out about us. You know, why did you come to this place? How did you find out about us? When did you first hear about us? Was it like today or three months ago or et cetera? And then some more demographic information about the customers so they know who to target and that sort of thing. Uh, gender also, who are you buying for? That kind of thing. So this is very useful. I've seen other people do this that are doing really well. Another way to kind of drill down on, on what's working. And um, I didn't really answer some of these things. It just kind of got a little excessive. And then um, in a second here, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and I see it's powered by that no commerce. And they've got another kind of post-purchase upsell tool over here. So here's the cash back that I was talking about. And so this is an email that I got from that cash back offer that it kind of just incentivizes you to come back to the store. They're using this tool, this fondue. And, um, you know, it's, pricing seems somewhat reasonable, even though they're making you do a demo. So I'm sure they're going to try to lock you into a higher plan or something. But yeah, so that's basically uh, how their store is set up. Uh, they're doing really well. I mean, they're doing 150 million plus a year. Could be a big combination of doing all those little things right, but could also be because they've really found product market fit. They're running good creative. Sounds like they have a good combination of some people that are good at analytics and some people that are good at creative, which is awesome. But they're also ticking the boxes on your, your basic Shopify stuff uh, very well. Hey, so this kind of video was a test. You know, I've sold a lot on Shopify and in e-commerce and have taught a lot of people how to do it. But I wanted to go through this funnel to see how they're doing to reverse engineer some stuff for my own e-commerce business. And so I thought I would rather than just keeping this to myself, share it with you. If you like this style of video, let me know. Because if you do, I'll probably do more of these. 
If I don't hear anything, then I probably won't. So give the video a like and drop a comment below. Uh, maybe you give some ideas of other sites to go through. I'll do live purchases. It's okay as long as it's products that I'll probably use. Uh, just let me know what you think. I'd love to do some more of these. Um, drop a comment and a like below. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.